since a structure is a user created type of a data you can create an array of structures so we'll try to show you how you can create an array of structures how you can read data into an array of structures and how you can print data from an array of structures so this is my structure here name and mark instead of mark let me make it marks so i have just put marks as float i think i better make it int all right because we're not going to worry about fractions so type def i have declared struct student record so student is going to represent struct student rec so i'll not type in the code for read record and print record i am just going to type in the code for the main where i am going to declare a structure type of variable so what i am going to do here is i am going to say student and let me say class of let's say 10 this is enough so here what i am trying to do here is this is a structure which keeps track of the name of a student and the marks he or she has got but since say i have conducted a test in maths for 10 students or 8 students i want to read the name and marks of all the 8 students therefore i declare a array of structures called as class of n now the user may not enter all the members or he may not populate all the members of the structure so i define a variable called as count and the first thing i ask the user is enter how many students okay so count is going to keep track of how many students the person wants to store data for so this i am going to say address of count so count indicates that although the capacity is 10 or let's increase it to let's say 25 i may be interested to enter data only of 10 students because only 10 students have taken the test then what i am going to do here is using the for loop i am going to show you how you can let me push this a little up using the for loop i am going to show you how i am going to read data into the structures okay so this is i plus plus i am going to call this particular function read record and i am going to pass what i am going to actually capture the value from that it's not going to it's returning a structure if you see the return type it indicates it's a structure so here i am going to say class of i is assigned read record that means whatever data is entered in this read record here you can see the data of the read record let me take this out okay data of the read record i'm changing it to marks and i'm making this as percentage d because i have made marks as decimal now so here what happens is i'm calling read record a variable ns of the type student structure is created i'm asking the user to enter the name and the marks of the student i'm making i plus one because we are not counting students from zero we are counting students from one so let me pass the value of i in this read record and i am asking the name and marks of the student although i is zero it's going to be zero plus one it's going to be one i am entering the name and marks are going to be stored and then i am returning this structure and it's going to be stored in class of i then same thing what i can do is for printing this structure i can say int i is equal to zero i less than count i am simply going to say print record and instead of i i have to pass a particular member of the structure so here i am passing that particular structure the zeroth structure the first structure the second structure and so on now what we shall do is let's take this program into our favorite online gdp compiler all right let's see if we can run it there and then i'll go ahead and try to explain things for you further so that you are able to understand this particular program completely so if you see here first i have defined a student record with name and marks because i have used type def student represents struct student record now the return type of read record is student it accepts a integer parameter i so what i am done here is i have declared class of 25 
with the data type of student that means it's an array of structures having 25 members count is zero so i'm asking how many students do you want to enter i am saying let us say i want to enter only two students i is zero zero is less than two so what is going to happen is read record of i i am passing zero here the reason i am passing zero here is i am going to say enter the name and marks of student zero plus one so it is saying enter the marks of student one so i am going to read the name and marks of student one into this structure called as ns ns stands for new student and i am returning ns since the return type is student the structure will get assigned to class of i after i enter two structures then i'll come to printing the structures in print record i am passing the zeroth structure in the zeroth structure what i am doing is item will take the value of class of 0 into it then it will be class of 1 class of 2 and so on so item represents a structure of the type student item dot name will print the name of the zeroth student item dot mark or marks it should be will print the name of the will make this percentage d marks of the first student or the zeroth student depending on what data is sent now let me be sure that everything looks right and let's try to first compile it maybe the compiler will throw up a few errors which is perfectly fine uh, all right we have missed some bracket here after the return i should have terminated the bracket so let's compile it now so it looks fine now so let's enter number of students as zero enter name and marks of student one let my first student be arjun and let us see he's got 100 out of 100 in maths then enter the name and marks of student two let us say this is ramesh and let us see he's also a bright student he gets 99 so in class of zero arjun and 100 are stored in class of one ramesh and 99 are stored if what i have done and explained is right then it should print the same data and the output so you see it is printed Arjun and marks 100. It's printed name and marks 99. So read record was for reading data into a structure and then returning the structure so that it could be assigned to class of I. Print record was to print the zeroth structure, the first structure and so on. I would request you to look at the prior program so that you know how a structure is returned from a function. This is simple. I'm simply passing the structure by value. So it's printing the contents of the structure.